Welcome back to Fox 21. It's time once again for the Indie Give campaign. Fox 21 helping out by highlighting local organizations that need your help this holiday season. One of those organizations is the Pikes Peak Gardens and the Pikes Peak Urban Gardens. Joining us now to tell us about it is Barbara and Melissa. Thank you guys for being here this morning. Thank, Thank you. you. Tell us a little bit about your organization. All right, so Pikes Peak Urban Gardens creates places where people meet to grow. They meet to grow food and vegetables, they meet to grow community, and they're meeting to really grow our local food shed, our sustainable uh, food system here. And so that's what we do. We offer community gardens, we have garden education and garden classes, and uh, we help people who have never gardened before and seasoned gardeners, and being part of the GIVE campaign means a tremendous amount to us. And what do you guys plan to do with the funds you would give from Indie Give? So we're working on a whole new series of classes in the spring because we're seeing a lot of people who are really interested in getting into gardening, but they've never gardened before That's or they've never gardened I here. I would love to, but I just, I don't know. Colorado how. Springs is an interesting <laughs> place to garden. Our climate is unique and the altitude is oh, unique. Yeah. And mm -hmm. so what we do is we really help people get over those barriers and get comfortable in the garden. And so we offer a whole bunch of different support and we also kind of match people up to gardeners who have been doing this for a long time and can kind of guide them through the process. Melissa, how are you involved? Um, so I'm the director of garden programs and if joining with Pug sounds like something you're interested in, we do have registration that just started yesterday, December the 1st. So you can go online to Pikes Peak, to PPU Gardens or Pikes Peak Urban Gardens. You can look us up through the internet. Um, and then online you'll find all of our registration. It's completely online this year. You can completely pay online. Um, and if you're curious, you can also contact us online there. Our classes that Barb was talking about, we're gonna have our schedule posted here in December. Um, so you can also look to the website to get posted on that. Lots of outdoorsy people here in Colorado. Lots of people want to get outside and garden and do hiking and things like that. Why is this nonprofit important to our community here in Southern Colorado? Right, because you know, Gardening is one of those activities that's very empowering. When you can grow your own food, even if it's just a few herbs on your windowsill, there's something sort of magical that happens there. So we're trying to um, help more people have that experience, that empowering experience of growing their own food and just getting connected to your food, you know, really feeling like you understand where it comes from and improving overall our local food shed because that's something that we really don't think think about very often when it's very easy just to go down to the grocery store and <laughs> yeah. pick up some veggies and make your salad. But if for some reason we didn't have access to all the food that comes to us from outside of the city because most of our food is trucked in, then that creates food insecurity. So when you know you can grow your own food, something really kind of shifts in your mind and you begin to think more about where your food comes from. And we love making those connections with people of all ages because we find it's really transformative on a personal level as well as on a community level. Well, thank you guys so much for being here. We do appreciate it and best of luck to you guys in the Indie Give campaign. Thanks, Thanks for so having much. us. Well, guys, this year, if you would like to donate to any organi to this organization or any of the other in the Indie Give program, you can find a link to our website on our website with more information at fox21news.com. We are hoping to raise 1.8 million bucks this year. 